Hello and welcome, my name is Alina. Thank you for watching the Personal Spirit YouTube channel and today I want to discuss with you three questions that actually this video is a translation from one other old video that I made in Russian a few years ago. So there are three questions that I've been asked and uh, today I will talk about those questions in English. So the first question is why I'm meeting the wrong people. Well, I think it's one of the most important uh, questions because we influence other people's life and other people influence our life. So why do we meet the wrong people? There are no right and wrong people. There are people that just like a puzzle, you know, just fit or don't fit to you. The reason why you're meeting those people is because you are not on your own vibe. Like we have our thoughts, our energy, our worldview, our, um, if I may say it like that, we have our unique vibe. And that is why some people do like us and some people really dislike us. And it's totally okay to be disliked but by some people and to be really liked or really loved or adored by others. That, uh, in general, it happens because the similarity of your energy vibes and your worldview. The combination of two of those things creates those uh, connections. When we are not on our vibe of energy, um, we attract the wrong people. What do I mean by not our vibe of energy? First of all, when we are very confused, we don't know what we really like, what we dislike, we're ashamed of being ourselves, we're trying to be likable by some group of people that we decided that it's a good idea to be liked by them um, for some reason. In most of cases it's something false when we want to be liked by specific group of people. When we pretend to be someone we are not, by the way it happens a lot with the younger people but sometimes people are struggling with this in any age. But when you're not on your vibe, when you're not uh, true to yourself, when you're trying to show, prove something, when you want to be liked by some people that you decided that they are the best people to be liked by, and all those things create this false energy and this confusion of energy and the wrong people come into life more and more and people that really can be part of your tribe like really close connections that could be created are not coming true in your life because you're not open to those things so when you're starting to be more connected to your inner self really not trying to please others, not trying to belong to some privileged group or something like that, when you're just manifesting your energy and your truth with your best intentions, with no intention to hurt anyone or to show that you're better than them or something like that, you will definitely attract your people into your life. So this is the first and most important question I wanted to answer today. The second important question is about work. When I get a lot of questions uh, about people that work in a wrong place, in a place that doesn't make them happy, that when they don't feel fulfilled, when they don't feel that they do what they're supposed to do, when they, they don't feel any inspiration, or, and they don't feel that this is right for them to work in this feel this area of work even if it's something very good and I'm not talking here about good paid jobs or bad paid jobs I'm just telling about the feeling that the person is not uh, connected to his area of work it can be any kind of uh, profession and any kind of work that is not fulfilling specific person and again it happens for two main reasons in my opinion uh, the first reason is when the decision was made to please parents, uh, thinking about only salaries or some false illusions that you didn't check good about the profession, you 
uh, started to work uh, you learned you started to work and you're feeling stuck and you're feeling that you have to work on this specific area all your life no matter what and the big news here is that you don't have to work anywhere all uh, of your life and you can change your profession and your field of professional interests at any point of your life i doesn't i don't mean that you need to quit your job today after a video and think what you want to do with your life you can still continue to work pay your bills and think what do you want to do in the future you can start learning you can gain uh, knowledge and experience and then move to another place of work where you really will be fulfilled and you want to work in that area the second reason is just a place where you live maybe there is no place of work there are cities states or even countries where it's extremely hard to find a job and people are working surviving jobs no matter how talented they are no matter how educated they are and it's really really sad to know that there are places in this world that work like that in this case do your best to change a city an area or a state uh, or even a country so you don't have to struggle and to live in a place that is not good for you and you can at least try to change the situation so you're never stuck you can always try to bring a positive change to your life it's a long process and i know that immigration is a long process and i know that to learn in university is a long process but in the end of the day it's worth it so if you're not happy with your current work you can create a strategy a plan of steps that will bring a change in your professional life and the third question I'm answering today is about happiness. And the most important, I think, uh, of course, to be a kind person, to love your friends and family, uh, to do your best, to be in harmony with yourself. It's all very important. But I think that the most important thing uh, in art of being happy is to be grateful, to enjoy things that you have and to be grateful for them and to be able to pay attention to them to see the beauty of the flower to see the beauty of the rainbow uh, and the rain and the sun and the tasty coffee that you're drinking in the morning be grateful for for all things that you already have it doesn't mean that you don't don't need to have motivation to change and grow and to do and to achieve but some people in their journey are not happy for steps they are making they're always thinking about some uh, top major goal that they are hoping to achieve and they have a false belief that they can't be happy till they don't have a b c d the long list of things and those people just live an unhappy life doesn't matter what do they achieve because they are always adding new things to their list it's our nature it's natural uh, to to have new goals and new desires but it doesn't mean that you don't need to be happy and grateful for things you already have so that's pretty all i wanted to discuss with you in this video it's probably is one of my longest video on this channel thank you for watching please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications and i see you in my next video bye bye